Hi folks, welcome to the Ultimate Machine Shop Organization video. For me, this all started about 10 years ago in my New York City apartment and then a garage and we've moved shops and I'm sure like most of you, we've accumulated tools over the years. We've now grown, we're really proud of this awesome shop, but it was time for me to get organized. Here's the thing, if you don't have reasonable access to efficiently get something, you don't own it. And I didn't do this for a while because I was just, it was easy to not do it. It wasn't necessarily as big a problem. And I thought it was expensive and difficult to do. And if there's one thing I wanna to emphasize to you guys, do this. You have to do this. It is so awesome. It's been such a game changer for us. It makes me it makes me happy. It makes me proud to see our shop. It helps when customers walk in the door. It makes me so just it, enthusiastic. It gets me psyched to make parts, and it lets me do what I want to do, which is make parts and not sit around and uh, you know look for tools and stuff. I'm gonna relatively quickly walk you guys around the shop and show you what I've done. This is my main Tormach milling machine. This is where I do most of my personal work these days. And this is my dedicated tool cart. Now, here's the thing. I'd been put off, put, uh, putting off filming this video for a while because I wasn't done with my organization project. And then I realized I'll never be done. Uh, and that's okay. And that's one of the other things I want to emphasize is this isn't something where you need to stop everything you're doing and quit work for two days to go through this. I'm not done and I still wanted to share this with you guys because it's always it's going to be an ever-growing process and you should not do it just because you're not sure the outcome. For instance, this tabletop, I may dislike it. I may tear it apart one day. Um, it may not even last. We are using a stuff called Kaizen Foam. It's really easy to work with. In fact, I think I've got a clip here from an old video that we saved up for this showing just how we can trace out tools and then use the, their, you should buy their box cutter. You could use a regular knife or a box cutter and you just tear the stuff away. And right here on my cart, I've got stuff I use all the time. You know, tape measures, certain size wrenches, adjustables, notepad, pen, calipers, scale, you know, the tools there. And the first drawer, my own set of parallels. We've got master sets as well, which we'll come back to over here. But, you know, my own set of one, two, three blocks. I got tired of walking over to the tap drawer for common size taps, so I got an extra set here. Toothpicks, deburring, a little mirror. We'll put a list in the video description of all of the stuff in here. Um, pick and choose as you guys see fit. I thought it was pretty cool though because uh, I'll put a card right here to Tom Lipton's video on getting started as a machinist. And we actually had, I think the only thing I added that Tom had that I hadn't thought of was uh, a set of vice grips, which to be honest with you, I don't use too often, but um, it was handy to have. This is a $200 Home Depot cart. It rolls okay, it's not the best on the rolling side. Um, and then we modified it. We took um, some sheet metal studs with some riser posts right here, and I put pegboard on here. So this is an example of part of it that's not done. Uh, I will probably change this or add to it, but for now, I've got my vice handle, dead blow, one of our Saunders Machine Works clamps, a, a foxtail and a dustpan. Folks, I can't tell you how awesome that is right there. I don't mind sweeping. What I mind is when I've got a mess and I don't know where the broom is or where the dustpan is or I've got to walk around and find it. This alone is a game changer. Having a paper towel rack right here, just awesome. Um, shallower bins, these red guys, uh, are going to be another big theme of this. It's really two things, Kaizen foam, shallower bins. I love these things because they're cheap and they're fun to work with. Uh, seriously, it's just awesome. The last thing we did here to modify this, I took the handle off, took a piece of aluminum on here, put a Tormach TTS set screw so that I now have the ability to tighten and loosen Tormach tools right here in, in, on my tool cart. I don't have to walk over somewhere else. And I got rid of the piece of junk sheet metal that these otherwise nice um, T-handles come in and I mounted them right here on my tool cart. So I got metric, an inch, my TTS wrench, just awesome. So what's left to do? I'm living with this for a while. You know, I think I want to have this in here. It's a pretty cheapo, you know, $20, $30 Home Depot general tool set, some double-sided tape. Um, I think I've got, yeah, there's my no-good deburr set. 
I bought a set of import telescoping gauges and I hate them, I really do. The other point here is most of the stuff, buying extra of these to have on a dedicated tool cart, not expensive. Uh, you know, I love this screwdriver. It wasn't expensive to buy four or five more of them for around the shop. These uh, incises are not that expensive, 50 bucks for the calipers. You know, most of the stuff, not a big deal. Um, what was more expensive, buying an extra set of the DeWalt 18 volts. I haven't figured out how I want to leave those mounted, whether they're in a box or over here. So that, that's okay. Uh, I wasn't gonna not do this project or not film it just because I haven't figured that out. They're okay there for now. One of the things I'd like to do, get them mounted in a better location and then put the charger on here and maybe on the back of the thing have a power strip. My charger stays plugged into, I've got extra ports and then I've got one cord coming off this tool cart that can get plugged in, which powers up the whole cart, powers up the chargers. I think that's empty. So that's my tool cart. We've got a dedicated one for the lathe as well. You know, your, your wrench handles, the draw bar for the lathe, you know, same type of stuff, the common uh, chuck keys, just love it. Some insert tools, those uh, stop things, absolutely love it. While we're over here, shallow bins. They're just amazing, folks. Uh, again, check out the video description. They're relatively cheap and they're, you can pick and choose or you can buy these big assortment packs. We used to just have a, a mess, just a hodgepodge of inserts. I didn't know what, how many I had, where they were, and it's, it's just, it's worthless. You, you have to know what you have. This is the ticket. We did some Kaizen foam here and brother P-Touch labels, calipers and mics. Boom, they're right there. Indicators, you know, not even quite done, but they're there. What else is in here? More shallower bins. Tooling for mills. Another huge thing. I didn't know how much I had, where I had it. I had them in different toolboxes, different drawers. That's okay. We literally emptied every toolbox I had, laid it all out. What we aren't gonna use or keep is back there in a pile for the next sale or auction type thing we have. And, and, and now it feels so good to know what you got. So look, I got a quarter inch drawer, all my quarter inch tools. I know what I can have, I see it. We've debated on whether or not to keep them in the little black boxes or loose. I like them loose because it lets me see what they are. The downside is what if they chip or what if, if this box gets tipped over or broken, or not broken, but falls out, then you may lose track. So I go back and forth on that. You can decide, but this has been just awesome. You know, how many half inch tools do I have in right now? You can take a look. Boom. Hi, Jed. Hi. Another big thing I want to emphasize, I'm not uh, a clean person or, or I'm, I am messy. I am predisposed to leaving messes and making messes. And it bothers me, but I've learned over my adult life, I'm not going to change. This though has changed me. Uh, so one of the things I did before to film this, I didn't clean up the shop. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in a normal state. So this is our uh, organization table remnants. So this is stuff that I still haven't either found a spot for or extras. I, I need to do something with it. That's okay. These actually just came in. Uh, check these out. I saw these when I was out in California. Um, Colletizer, they're PVC, pretty inexpensive. That's an ER20 collet rack i'm excited to put these to use 5c as well uh, so, so you know more to come on that we bought a bunch of the maritool um, drill card charts i just really like the maritool ones I, I just they have a really nice feel it's recognizable i like having the same one around my shop because i just get to know it and i got tired we had like two in the shop and that's so silly so now every single thing has one including my original one which lives on my desk right here boom um, so on that note, here's my desk. This is what it normally looks like. It's not perfectly clean, but boy, this piece of uh, Kaizen foam right here has been a game changer. This is everything I need, and it doesn't necessarily make sense because next to a screwdriver, I've got a Sharpie, next to stamps, to scissors, um, a little tool, my calculator. It's what works for me. I used to have this in the top drawer, but I kept opening and closing my drawer, which was silly. So I just moved it out to the top of my desk. Um, I would change this. This is probably six months old. I don't use these very much. I don't use this here at my desk anymore. Uh, I use these a ton.
$15, sticky whiteboards. You just, doesn't even damage your wall. You just stick it on and peel it off. It's dry erase, just awesome. Likewise, we'd mentioned these before, the little restaurant ticket boards where you can take something off. And I like this because I can take this off, I can print it out, I can draw on it, make notes, and just stick it back on. I can reorder it, I can triage it. Love these things, they look nice, and they're about 15 bucks each. We now have a dedicated video cart for our filming because that's what I'm doing. You know, every two or three days I'm using this. I got tired of having camera stuff in different toolboxes and laying around. And this is definitely not done, but I want to do the same thing where I have some built-in power strips. I've got better drawers. You know, right now I've just started getting some stuff organized. GoPro drawer that's got GoPro stuff in it. USB cable drawer, that kind of stuff. It's getting there. The electronics was a huge upgrade. Again, proving that I, I am not a clean person. You know, I've got my, my Tormach shirt over some other hardware and whatnot and projects in progress. But Kaizen foam, power stripping or uh, wire stripping tools, little electronics tools. This was amazing. This is maybe my favorite Kaizen foam thing ever because I love working with electronics, but when you don't know what you've got, what a nightmare. Putting these out, look at that. That's amazing, amazing. For like $15 of red bins, I can now see where I've got you know, voltage regulators or, or solenoids or relays or chips or a proximity sensors, uh, jumpers, it's all right there. I like these a lot better than any sort of a cupboard drawer because when you open one of these, you only see one thing. Whereas when I open this, I can see a lot. And for stuff that's higher quantity, you can get the taller drawers. Uh, it just, to me, really makes sense. Jared and I made a bunch of these uh, carts with three quarter inch HDPE tops and this is just a steel frame, Harbor Freight wheels. They are great. Um, they're great because we can wheel them around. They can be project carts, machine carts, no shelves. You know what a shelf does right here? Accumulates junk. Just absolutely not happening. No good. The Lista. I'll admit, this took me about a full day worth of work, but you know what? It's worth it because I had fasteners everywhere. So now every single quarter inch fastener of different type is in here. And when I need something, I can look in there and I can see how much I've got. Five sixteenths, half inch. Took a little bit of work, it will last me a lifetime. Shoulder bolts, again, it was a hodgepodge. I now know what I've got. Random stuff, a little bit of work in progress. I used to use these bins. They're nice, I might still reuse them for something, but again, you get so much more visibility and organization here. And I like it because if I wanna switch all this stuff up, I can just pull these red bins out and move them around. Whereas if you use the Lista dividers, um, like the ones you see, yeah, like these guys right here, and just put the hardware straight into the bins uh, or to the drawers, it, uh, it just gives you less flexibility. You can't carry this over somewhere uh, or, or again, swap stuff out. The flexibility I think is, is pretty awesome. And then this guy, I love this thing. It could be prettier, I will admit, but holy cow. Pretty cheap, nothing crazy to it. Some one inch, a bunch of PVC from Home Depot because, you know, we've gotten in the habit now finally we're a, a big enough shop where we throw little scraps in the recycle uh, boxes because it doesn't make sense to keep everything but what we do keep i need to know what it is um, and get to it not have it be some huge mess so obviously the nice thing about this is you can you know, duck down lean down and you can look through it and get a pretty good idea of what we've got and um, you don't have to lift other stuff off to get to certain things. So I actually like to add this type of a thing sort of up here to stand up some, you know, 12 inch type pieces. Uh, and then Jared just added this, which I love because you've got all these little short pieces and you sometimes you want to keep them because you know what? I might use this piece of brass for something. I don't really want to recycle that for the little I'd get. Um, but how do you keep it and where do you put it? Little pieces like a piece of W1 tool steel, perfectly good but it's gotta be kept in the right place. So I'm a big fan of this. This is all things related to the mill. So you saw most of the tools. 
again, I've got labels on here because it's not just me at the shop anymore. It's Jared, it's Noah, it's the students for the training classes. So being able to look and see is really helpful. And you know, so look, files, boom, awesome. ER collets, which again, we may switch to those uh, colletizer racks that just came in today. But for now, this is better than what we had before. Um, this is a work in progress, but general mill stuff, parallels, deburring tools, 5C block, you know, stuff for the carved smart and orange vices. Mighty bites, a drawer of just fixturing stuff. This is my not sure what's happening area. So I, I'm okay having this. It just, all of it has to stay back here. And if we need something and it gets kind of reintegrated into the shop, then we'll put it and we'll find a home for it. But for now, uh, and it might take me another three, six months to get through a lot of this stuff. Um, some of it is actually tooling for the equipment that we just bought. So it's really more just has to get cleaned or processed, but it's a great way to deal with, uh, you know, separating the, the, the done from the not done type stuff. And honestly, this a lot of stuff here but it's not as much work as it might look to get through it all we're actually going through all the drills that we've got for the lathe and the and the radial arm right now because again it doesn't mean no good to have these all in a box but by being able to to put them in size or mark the mark the size of them awesome much better we've got tables specific to the products that we make so our rimfire steel uh, 22 targets our bridgeport power drawbar kits, our DeWalt DW872 fixture plates, and our Saunders Machine Works DIY clamps. Each has a table, has a, the tools that we need that live on it. Uh, again, this could be improved, but this is a, a start. Um, much better when we need to, to make something or work on something. Our little shipping area, some racking from Sam's Club, not that expensive. I actually really like the stuff on wheels. This, is, this has been great. Um, I'm actually a little bit of a bigger fan of this than even the pallet type racking for what we're doing here now. And then lastly, same thing, Kaizen foam. I got tired of looking for where do we have our stickers? Where do we have a, a set of scissors or a box cutter or pallet strapping stuff? It's all right here. I got a set of paper towels, packing material, boom. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you get it and you're on board, then rock on. If you're dubious, I would encourage you to try at least one thing. You don't have to go through and do this to your whole shop. And in fact, I would say don't. Just triage it. Do what's uh, the most important to you. Your desk maybe in like one toolbox or one work area. I think you'll be pretty, uh, pretty happy. I will honestly tell you, I machine better parts now because I'm human and like it or not, I'm gonna be more likely to use the right tool, the right deburring tool, the right measuring tool, the right gauge block, if that stuff is either right there close by or I know for certain where it is. It puts me in a better mood, it makes me proud, it keeps me from making messes. Uh, it, it's pretty cool, it's pretty amazing. It saves me time and there's two constraints on my life in this world, money and time. And if I can save time and do more with the time I got, that's awesome. And we don't have missing tools. Or if you do have a missing tool, it's super obvious. And you know, the first few weeks, we would uh, tools didn't always get put back and it became really obvious and it hasn't been a problem. Honestly, the only thing that I was really like, oh, this is expensive, was buying a couple of the extra sets of the DeWalt um, 18 volt drills and impacts. They're, they're such good tools. We use them all the time. And they're like 200 bucks for a set. So buying one for me, one for Jared, one for the lathe, one for the mill, that added up, but it's worth it. Kaizen foam, shower bins, and just taking a little bit of time to do this, folks. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found that motivating. It gets me oddly excited. And I will say I was very dubious or, or disinterested in like Lean and Kaizen and you know, people that want to talk about, I want to make stuff, not talk about efficiency, but I'm actually now realizing how really cool that stuff is. So with that folks, take care, see you soon.